Hello peeps, welcome back to Old Yorkshire Git Tries Final Fantasy 14 Part 346 Right, I've had to make some notes, a couple of announcements Oh, we've gone up to 62 now on YouTube And BitChute's doing well A few people are tuning into my other channel uh, Not my other channel uh, My Fallout 76 one, I'm pleased with that I thought because it was an old hat People wouldn't be bothered, but Fair play, thank you. Uh, new subscribers, I've got Nath and James Stewart. Love your films, James. Brilliant. I'm not the first person to have said that to you, am I? Thank you very much. Welcome to the family. And a, a bloke called Sean left me a comment. I don't know if he's a subscriber. I don't know. He, he's not come up on my thing. But he could be one of these private ones anyway. He Just to say that, you know, quite a few... A more mature variety play this game quite a lot of, lot of them and uh, you know he's one of them uh, I've not you know he's the first one I've met I mean I don't communicate with many but I can see why it, it's gentle prodding along yeah there's some hard bits but hey you know you don't have to be young to enjoy playing computer games do you I mean I've been playing them since the old ZX Spectrum games I think my first one was a ZX Spectrum 48K 48K <laughs> computer, bloody hell but back then it was the bees knees to have one of them then obviously you progressed uh, what was it, Amstrad Amstrad 64 64K, well I mean that was the bees knees with it's own little green monitor had one of them for ages, then the Amiga 500 and I got a PC right we're looking for hang on, let's get the map up not that map, my map ah she's over there Excuse me. Who was this? Galli Galliena. Well, let's give it a go then, shall we? Accept. Albert Rusty Nuts of the Science 7, if I'm not mistaken. Very good. I've got a message for you from Aunt Rowena. Oh, I don't have details of consequence. She'd like to assist with the exploration of a recently discovered island. Should I head to Kagani and see Kotakaze? Right, okay, we'll go into that then. How are we all doing on this Friday morning? Yeah, I'm a bit late knocking one out for you this morning. <laughs> uh, Dubs has just started early, so it's big shop day. Mind you, I say big shop. It normally is, but because we're going away next week. Uh, it was a little shop. I had to get locked in for Sunday dinner though, because I got got my kids coming. All three of them coming for Sunday dinner, so I had to get lots of veg and meat. So I'm going to be busy cooking Sunday. Yeah, looking forward to that. Hopefully I can still knock one out for you Sunday morning before I start. Probably because I'm always up early. How do I get up there then? Because this is where you need to fly, isn't it? Because you have to be in that blue bit. Can I fly here? No, you can't fly here. So how the hell do you get up there then? I can't remember what the emote was. <laughs> it was one of my favourites, wasn't it? Look out. Is that the one? Oh, 
How do you get up there then? You can't use your flying mount. Try again. Oh, I'll give up. No idea. How are you meant to get up there then? Is there a super duper jumping one you can do? I mean, even even jumping don't get you up there. So how are you meant to get on that then? Yeah, and mount's not available, so you can't fly up there. You can't select it. It's not like there's anything nearby you can climb on and jump across, is there? Where's this? Kota ah, oh, there's Kota cars, eh? I see you decided to accept the invitation. I'll show you to your table. It's good to see a familiar face. Cryo! That of the man who might well be my most valued customer. I gather you were not expecting Kryl and myself to be attending this little tete-a-tete. -tete. As you'll see, however, this is a matter which concerns us all. It began with a vessel of the East Aldenar Trading Company happened upon an island in the Glass Ocean deserted island which was not recorded on our charts suffice to say we were surprised an unclaimed undeveloped land Kagan is bleeding us both dry with its tariffs come on out with it what my dear Rowena is trying to say is that having an additional port call would be in the best interest of a great many party ok so you want me to go and next explore it yeah the survivors reported irregularities with the island's ether believe gave rise to a number of strange monstrous beasts okay came to me and mine for a handout I obliged but before you scoff know that some of my regular customers were members of that failed expedition tales of treasure untold wealth blah de blah de blah spoken like a born entrepreneur Yeah, come on, out with it. Let's get going. While I lack your aptitude for Warcraft, I will be joining the expedition as a researcher. Glad to have you along, Kryle. You will forgive me if I say no more at this time. My suspicions prove true, then I will tell you everything I promise. Right then, I believe that covers everything. The ship will deliver you to the island. Proceed to the pier when you're ready to depart. Oh, and so you're not surprised you'll have company, a craftsman whose help I reckon we ought to have. Okay. A few things to discuss, I'll catch you up later. And they go.
Uh, which way are we going? That way? No. Need to be going this way by the look of it. Geralt Geralt of Rivia Didn't expect to meet him in this game oh, He's changed No matter how many times you say it, you whiny little shite, I ain't about to let a bloody stranger waltz up and deign to tell me which way my bread is buttered. Now piss off. Does your Eorzean stubbornness know no end? I have urgent business on that island and I demand you take me there at once. Ooh. Stormy little girl, ain't she? I could hear the shouting half a mile my way. Cryo. Geralt, what's all the fuss about? Miss Cross, sorry about that. It's this here bastard that's causing trouble. Ajika, what are you doing here? Did you really think I wouldn't find out about your letter? The nerve of you, trying to get an head start. Don't be difficult. I had every intention of requesting your assistance if and when I confirmed my hypothesis was correct. Forgive me, you must be at a complete loss. This gentleman on the right is Geralt Blackthorn, the finest weaponsmith in all of Eorzea. And on the left we have Ajika Sunjika, the students of Baldesian. <laughs> Good old Albert. Oh God, here we go, another one. Manners, Ajika, if you intend to accompany us on this expedition. Of course I do. If you think I'm about to let by the book traditionalists like you conduct an independent investigation you've got another thing coming I should be glad to welcome the assistance of a preeminent scholar such as you say yeah okay let's get going shall we Ajika is one of the few surviving students Enough about him. Oh, it's a him, is it? Thought it was an air. Again. <laughs> Getting them all mixed up. No comments, please. <laughs> Enough about him. Move an island to explore. Hello. Can I help you? Occurs to me that no one bothered to tell you the name of the island. Am I correct? 
It's a bit grand duaro melodramatic. Named it for a place from Allegheny Legend. Alright, what's it called? We call it Eureka. What we call that Grandois? Melodramatic? We shall call it Eureka. Now have access to the forbidden land, Eureka Animos. You can do it solo or with parties. Please be advised all excursions into the forbidden land, Eureka, are item level synced. For Animos gear exceeding an item level of 300 will be adjusted. You'll have the opportunity to create Eureka gear and weapons. If you wish to do so, it would be prudent to acquire level 70. Should you wish to know more about Eureka as to offer, you might speak with Rodney for further details. Journey to the Forbidden Lands. Right, let's go and give it a go. Oh, we're going something new. Sink to three hundred. Well, first things first. I've tuned myself and so access to the region's Ethernet. Gmelder, engineer, provisioner. Let's just check this guy. Right, can't deal with him. Lock pick. All right, speak with Kryle. I knew it from the moment we arrived. Despite everything that's happened, there could be no mistake. I had, I hate to admit it, but you had the right of it. I said I would tell you everything. My suspicions prove true. I will. The reason I urge the science to approve my participation. This island is the Isle of Val. Ah, the one that disappeared. Served as the headquarters and home of the students of Baldician. An island that belongs on the other side of the world. That was obliterated by terrible magic. I was fortunate to be been elsewhere at the time, but I know you were not so lucky. I don't suppose you have any idea how it could have ended up here in the glass ocean. Alas, my memories of the incident are muddled. All I recall is a voice, that of the star, I suspect, faint and fleeting but warm. Then I awoke on the shore of old Charlayan. 
how convenient for you would that more than Gallop's chosen hair could have received this blessing of light and where are you off to now Ajika to find anywhere else that might still be alive thank you not to follow I work better alone cutting us loose now you've got what you wanted it would be better for everyone if we cooperated bottom one be better if we cooperated it's you know take a drink I suppose you are not without your uses given your proven capacity for survival and violence I propose a proposal then should I learn anything of significance I'll return here and share it with the rest of you does that satisfy cryo okay, can you get out of the rain he's a handful I know you needn't worry about me, I'm more than capable of defending myself. Mystery on our hands. Somehow the Isle of Val was transported here. Hijika's right, our first priority should be confirmed whether or not any of our comrades are still alive. I appreciate your help more than you know. For beginning early, it's important that you are properly prepared. The stories you heard about the creatures that roam these lands were not exaggerations. And I would not see you struck down due to carelessness. Geralt has been working on something that will be you. So you, why don't you go and see if it's ready? Got stuff to do. Right, so go and see Geralt. I remember you. Well, it weren't that long ago, pal. No business of mine. You probably heard from the others about how the beast is here being bathed in the twisted ether. Don't know about all that, but I do know that if you walked out the gates and let one take a swing at you, you'd feel it in more ways than one. Not only can they rend flesh and break bones, they can also disrupt your ether. So if you're intending to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one, you'll need a way to improve your ability to endure the attacks. Goes without saying, the same principle applies if you want to hit the beasties back harder. Any road to that end, Kral and I have been working on a solution, a magic contraption you can use to manipulate your elemental affinities. Fight more effectively. Might take some getting used to, but I'm sure a clever lad like you will manage. But the board alone's not enough. I should say you'll need these crystals. What were they called? Magicite, that was it. Type of crystal found in Eureka. Pure as driven snow, or so I'm told. Luckily for you, I've got one to spare, brought back by a survivor. Go and take it along with the board. Reckon you'll find more while you're out and about, so I designed it to take up to five in a given configuration. To fix or remove magicite, you'll need to avail yourself of that there Magia Melder. Shouldn't be too hard, but if you've got questions, direct them to the expedition engineer over yonder. Expedition. Engineer. Where's the expedition engineer? Skywatcher provision ah here we go see what he's got to say in need of information this island offers many unique challenges let's look at this oh gold what will you ask about forbidden land before I continue, completely stress that this is not the Eureka of legend. I think that evident from the fact we're on an island. The Forbidden Land Eureka is a mysterious and deadly island where the elemental forces are constantly influxed. You can explore it as a party or solo. The strength uh, is measured in the elemental level. Moreover, all equipped items will be subject to item level sync. 
Unlike instance duty is a given region with an area curve may be occupied by up to 144 players. You may choose to cooperate if you so desire. Oh, should I be doing all this? I've got 172 uh, minutes apparently. The very elements are an enemy in your recry fear. Pay close attention to the fluctuations. The strength in Eureka is measured in your elemental level, which may be increased by defeating various enemies, gaining elemental experience points. Okay. Your level and XP accrued will be retained between visits. Progress will not be lost when you depart. Please be advised. So when you get when you're KO'd in Forbidden Land, you recall you will lose elemental XP. If you're rev revived within ten minutes, you will receive a no elemental penalty. If your current elemental level is five or below, you will not lose XP. Eleven or higher, this penalty may reduce your XP below zero. Enemies encountered in the land are imbued with powers. The elemental aspect is indicated in an icon to the left of their display names. You may be prudent to alter your tactics accordingly. Uh, some notorious monsters will not appear unless certain conditions are met. When you defeat enemies you may receive a variety of rewards, among those possible rewards are Proteon Crystals, used to strengthen and enhance your Eureka gear. Upon defeating an enemy you will have a limited window in which you may attempt to defeat another. If successful you will initiate an EX, X, XP chain, defeating subsequent enemies. While an experience chain is active, you will earn additional elemental XP. Unlike in instance duties, you may form and lead parties with other players at will. You may also use the adventure list to seek out players close in elemental level to form parties. Alright, magic board. Magic board can be used in conjunction with Magicite to strengthen your affinity with the six elements while exploring the map Forbidden Land Eureka. Okay. A stronger affinity with a given element will increase the damage you deal certain enemies. Right, so get that. So if you've got one with like that snowflake symbol, you need lots of snowflakes. You may configure your Magia board by fixing or removing Magia site with the use of a Magia Melder. By spinning a Magia board you can quickly change your elemental affinities. However, changing your affinities via this method consumes one unit of Magia Ether. This type of Ether gradually accumulates over time and is restored in its center. Oh dear, I'm getting. Uh, the six elements are best under the balance sets. Okay. Fiery strong versus ice, ice versus wind, wind versus fire. Water versus earth. And earth versus lightning. Ah, I've got it right. So red one's fire. Curly green one, wind. Snow. 
Well, a house. And it goes in a clockwise, right? Remember that. If you wish to deal more energy to an enemy aspect to fire, should use your magia board, strengthen your infinity to wind. If you want to suffer less damage, you should use your magia board to strengthen your affinity to its aspect. In this case, fire with fire. Okay. Magia board acquired. Right, I've got hundred. See what this says. You have turned your board. Each element given a distinct. Yeah, okay. Raise your affinity to certain elements. Yeah, well, I've done that. Okay, confirm. the crystal ah a fixed magic site uh, well how do you know which one to go for I'll we'll go that way aren't we fires plus 28 Right, speak with Cryo. Here she is. While taking preliminary readings, something usual came to light. The headquarters were situated in a tower, which is to be encased in a magical barrier. Something seems to have activated our defences. They could be alive. How are we to get there? It's safer to make use of the island's ethernet. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear the best shape at the moment. Find a way of putting it in good working order. Two favours. Attune to every ethernet shard you find. And if you can use them without issue, then all the better. And two, if you should come across a proteon crystal, I want you to bring it to me. Make this risk on behalf of the financiers. We shouldn't say that we shouldn't oblige them. We should have been quite generous. Yeah, okay. Can we get get doing it? Because the countdown's going. Yeah, creatures. I can buy stuff. Purchase items. Eureka potion. Gradually restores you. Hit points. Most poisons. Few of these, then shall we? Okay, certain items sold by provisioner can only be used in the Eureka.
So where are we going then? Up here. We can't fly. So I'm looking for ether crystals. like I've gone for the wrong thing, doesn't it? Shit. Kill him. behind him. Don't let him get a bead on you. Where's he come back from? Bloody hell.
keep this chain going, aren't we? Holy crap, look at the size of that thing. What am I looking for? Run! Run away! Bloody hell! Yeah. Looking for ether crystals. Babaloos. Wow. Ouch. That's cool.
I've got to find a protus protusian crystal. Proteon crystal, and I. Place for grinding by the look of things, isn't it? Really? Okay. Just up here crying, try and get up to level two or level three.
me alone. Right, run away, Albert. Leave them behind. Damn. Because I didn't put the things where they should have been. Bugger. Gonna have to get a bit used to this. Still, I am level three. So, uh, what do I want? Inventory. Right, well, I think I'm getting the gist of these things. Though I don't know where you find these magic things. Crystals. Do you go mining for them or something? I don't know. We shall find out. Don't know if you can change, move them around or not. I shall have to have a look. But anyway. That should be pretty interesting. Give it another go. See how it goes. If not, I'll go back to mainland and crack on. That's all we can do, innit? So anyway, have a great day. Have a lovely Friday. And until tomorrow, I'll see there.